Good morning. It's Wednesday morning here in Cypress, Texas. So, yesterday, interesting, I had two people um, coming to me for my opinion. Um, and I'm honored that they asked me. Especially these guys. Well, this guy's like one of the top people in financial services in the country. Has been for years. Um, we were on the same team in, in uh, California. And um, he... Uh, you know, he's a phenomenal guy, phenomenal producer. And he called me yesterday. And uh, he's telling me, it's amazing. He's telling me about this lady who he did all this work for, got her in a real, you know, just the best, you know, really good financial strategy for her. And she wanted to run it past her son, who they don't get along. The mom and the son don't really get along anyways, right? And next thing you know, the uh, they called back. The premium had already been sent in. Money had already been sent in. The rollover it had already been sent in to the provider. And they, they called that money back. And, uh, and this guy just didn't believe the returns that they showed her, you know, with the, with the illustration. <laughs> and uh, and oh, I know it was. She claimed to be a Christian, right? And uh, and I'm like, yeah, well. I've had it happen before, right? Same thing. I, almost same thing happened before, you know. And it's, it was people can't believe their own eyes. You know, they don't know, they don't know math, and that's what that was. So last night at church, um, Nate goes. Anybody ever heard the phrase? What would he, what'd he say? Uh, everybody, anybody ever heard the phrase? Um, what would he say? Um, duck on it. Um, The uh, more. Uh, what was the phrase that he said? Oh yeah, the devil I know is better than the devil that I don't. And uh, and that made me think of this guy, so I wrote out the quote and sent it to him. Right, but it's it's tell a couple things, right? Like I learned in military intelligence. We can't act on a target. You know, we're out on patrol and we see a target of opportunity. We can't even, we can't do nothing about it. Um, unless they engage us. Right. Unless we get that, what we, what we see with our own eyes, we have to get it confirmed by another reliable source. Somebody else in our squad or patrol. Uh, a satellite going overhead or a, Helicopter flying by, whatever. Then we can act on it. Okay. And your mind works the same way. You got to, got to have a confirming, reliable source, right? So, <laughs> whenever, whenever you, you, what happens is when you see something, hear something, read something, it goes in that gray matter rolodex, right? And then when you see something, hear something, read something, experience something. Uh, they confirms that they come together. That's where you get them epiphanies, right? And, uh, 
and so what you have to do if you have to stack up those references the, those confirming reliable sources okay so a lot of times if you start with a couple then the spouse is that other confirming reliable source so you present to them both right and in this case it was the son but it hadn't been up until that point right you know and and Here's something else I learned. <laughs> Going through Bud's training, right? You know, when you're scared, any excuse will do. Okay. When somebody doesn't really understand, it's easy to knock them off the fence. Right? And that goes for what we're learning. Um, that's what we're learning. Okay. So, thankfully for us, you've got the scriptures that by opening them up, it actually becomes your other reliable source. How about that? All right. Now, the other one, this young guy asked me, you know, do you need a favor? I'm like, well, you know, I know what it was. He wanted advice. Right. And it was really crazy because I had just written up. I just did this little talk yesterday about how somebody can go from nothing to a $4 million in like nine years. Right. And uh, if you follow this strategy. Right. And uh, so I'm like, you know, he, he got this job. They, they said it was going to have a base plus commission. Well, kind of find out they, they changed that. So the first two weeks, he gets a base. But then it goes straight commission. Like, you know. And then two weeks, you know, come in there, do, do, he's already got a couple of sales done already. So he's already earned some commission. I said, but I gave him some strategies on what to do to, to make more commissions. And then, uh, um, I end up, uh, just tell him, hey, you know, keep up your good attitude, right? I, he's going to do door to door. I've done door to door, right? I don't care what you're selling. You walk 120 doors, it'll sell two a night. I don't care what it is, right? But you got to get... The, uh, in these apartment complexes, uh, you got to get referrals within the same complex of your clients. Get your clients to give you a quality referral, right? And you'll crack it open. So he, he's my son was like the top guy in sales for Solar City, and uh, in. I gave him all kinds of advice, and he, you know, and he did it, and, and uh, he killed it. But anyway, it was just interesting. I've become a a reliable source for people, and I'm honored. I right, have a good day.